Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is um, the four bladed up micro heli upgrade that I did for my 230S. Um, so I just wanted to show you the finished results and a couple things I did on it. Um, this is with the stock frame, not a micro heli frame. Um, one thing that I did do is I put in the lar a larger motor. <clears throat> I took out the stock motor and put in, a, I forgot what it is, I think it's 4300 kV. Can't remember the size. Um, but because of the size, you can you can actually put the ESC back in. Um, it's kind of a pain. Um, and I just figured, <clears throat> since it's going to be inside this um, the AS350 frame, what I, fuselage, what I did is I just put the ESC off to the side. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. See if I can get a bit of light on that. Okay. So I get the ESC in on the side and it's just uh, taped in. So it works out pretty good. Um, plus, I don't know if it's going to make it any cooler or not because, you know, this fuselage has no um, ventilation to it. So I, it can't hurt. <laughs> um, one thing I did is I'm using a larger battery. Um, using a 1500. Uh, milliamp battery now if you can see here I'm using the um, spectrum smart connectors uh, because I still use those batteries the 50 milliamp battery I use is a smart one so to make the adapter this is just an adapter you can buy off, off online it's a XT60 um, to XT90 uh, uh, whatever adapter so what you have to do is you have to modify it a little bit because there's a third pin inside these connectors, which is you don't need to use. So all I did is, um, by the way, this is a little 3D printed um, uh, vise I made, which comes in real handy for little things like this. So I basically got the adapter, put it in like that, and this one's already done. But I just used a file and filed out the middle of it. Um, because this is usually a solid piece. It's usually a solid. It's all solid right in here normally. So just file it out. It takes a second to do. So then, you know, just pop the battery in. Like that. It's a... I love this kit really nice looking and that's what the hub looks like uh, from the top um, everything's carbon fiber carbon fiber uh, tail rotor I had a crash the other day so I repaired it thing came out pretty good but anyway I just wanted to give you an overview of what I did for this and um, a couple things I am gonna do <clears throat> I'm doing a um, I'm doing an upgrade for this guy here too. I had another 230S frame that I'm going to do. And um, the same thing, I'm going to put in the larger motor. But what I'm going to do for this guy is I'm going to use a um, like a regular standard type uh, canopy for it. So again, because of the larger motor, um, you can see it's right there. It's a, um, yeah, 4500 kV. So the motor's going to go in here. Again, DSC works fine uh, where it is. It's just that it's going to be a pain. If you can see, there's not going to be a lot of room because the motor's going to come down even further. Um, so what I did is I made a 3 day I printed a, a bracket uh, with my 3D printer. And what that's going to do, that's going to go in between the skid and the frame. And that's going to hold the, the ESC. I can show you how I did that before too. This is a three bladed upgrade. This is a three bladed up, three bladed upgrade I did. Um, again with the um, the large motor, and you can see down here how I made the frame. Um, that extra little shelf for the ESC. Um, it's not necessary. You can squish it in there up top if you need it. I just found it a lot easier to get to. Plus, again, it's not going to have the motor in the way, so it's going to give it a little bit more cooling. So, 
Anyway, um, just hope you enjoyed that. It's my little collection here. Show the other guys. Okay, well, peace out and enjoy your day, guys.